I made track pants for you. But there's only one leg. So what? We're gonna play a game. It's a one leg. I have so much. It's so much. I want me. Oh god. Oh. Oh no. She's dead. Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Zing Tractive. Today in Marvelous Designers course, we will learn how to create this Squid Games trouser. So this trouser have waistbands and also it has the sides. And you can see over here the sides and the waistbands and the ankle bands, the bands on the ankles we will create in, uh, in, in Marvelous Design now. So now here you can see I have uh, this uh like my pattern here so what i will do here i will freeze it right click freeze and then i will hide it okay and move it aside so that i can right click add background image file and then i will choose the trouser pattern here now once the trouser pattern is there so i will increase the size of it to match with the avatar 200 okay and wherever you want it you have you can place it and then you can press okay now uh i think this is too big for my avatar so again i will right click add background and change it to 180 okay now i think it looks fine what I will do now is that I will take my uh, polygon tool. It works like the pen tool in uh, Photoshop. Wherever you need sh uh, sharp corner, just click once. Whenever you need curve, click and drag. So click here and click and drag here to create a curve and then click here. Also later on, you can use edit pattern tool to adjust these uh, like bezeers, these points on your pattern so i will just select all of uh, like i will click and drag wherever i need curve and one uh, and i will click just once wherever i need a sharp corner done okay now i'll take my edit pattern tool and start moving them around okay the way i want this to be it's quite annoying uh, you have to deselect, oops, you have to deselect and then move it. Okay. But one more thing is that this pattern, the one that I created, is solid white color and it's hiding my background pattern. So I must do one thing. I will add another pattern of fabric here, reduce its opacity to something around 45. So there's 46. I think it's fine. I, okay. Now I can drag and apply over it and you can see. I am able to see the background pattern. Now I can simply move them wherever I want. Okay. Cool. Okay. So this is how easily you can adjust them. So we are done with the front. So let's do a little bit more fine tweak. Okay, now what I will do here is that I will right click here, symmetric pattern with sewing, or you can press Ctrl D, it's a shortcut. Now, same thing I will do in the uh, at the back of the pattern, I will take the polygon, same thing, click one time for sharp, click and drag for curve, click and drag for curve. Okay, same thing here. Keep on going forward, click and drag, click, click, and then click and drag, click and drag, click, click and drag, click and close. Okay, now as I have already applied the fabric to, to the first pattern, so automatically it will be applied here. So I will adjust these points. Very annoying sometimes 
to remove the points because you have to deselect in a certain way so they do, they all don't move only the specific one that you want to move should move okay i will adjust all of them So this should be fine. So I will select this one, right click and symmetric copy on the other side. So I will apply now the fabric one to it because I don't want them to be uh, opaque. And I will delete the unused, which was now the uh, lower opacity. But now I will start, I will remove this, right click, add back, background reset. Now the background will be removed. Now I will start arranging them using the arrangement points okay so you have to press shift f but before that let's put them uh at the back with the the back trouser patterns and i will right click on it and flip horizontal okay both of them flip horizontal and i will press shift f for arrangement points and i will arrange them like that if it is not perfect you can still adjust it select it then move it move it back okay same thing on the front for the front okay and move it you will, uh, you can then afterwards you can simulate and see how it looks like. If it looks like, it's fine. So go with it. Otherwise, you can rearrange them. So I'll just rotate it a little bit so it it won't uh it like I'm the reason I'm rotating so it can follow the actual shape of the trouser uh, of the leg. Okay. Same thing here. thing here as well looks better now i will choose free sawing tool so first these two parts from the front similarly i will do exactly the same thing uh, in the back pattern because it's it's almost the same it's this this fine and then sides and for the sides i will choose a normal uh, segment so this one and then the other one so i will take i'll just move it the blue point helped me to dis, uh, to check which part uh, should be sewed together so i have rearranged them so easily i can up, uh, use the sewing tool i will choose a free sewing tool here as well instead of segment because there are a lot of uh, split points there. Okay, so it's done on both sides because they are symmetrical. Similarly, I will do this for the inner seam. Front and inner seam back. Done. Now let's try and simulate. If there is an error, we can rearrange and then start again. Usually it happens. It's very common. So I will... I'll run the simulation. You can press spacebar also. Okay, things are fine. But you can see uh, on the bottom, just over this uh, ankle, you can see it is penetrating. And I'm trying to pull this outward. It's not happening. So I can reset it and start moving them closer. So that error won't happen again. Okay. I think now it should not happen again. So I will run the simulation again. 
let's see. Okay, yeah, that's fine. But it's quite loose. And you can see that it's it's on the bottom. It's not loose. So uh, it's uh, like it's not tight. It's very loose. So what I will do is that I will take my measured measuring tool. Okay, where is the tool? Yeah, and I will create a uh, like basic measure on this side. If you will see, uh, just to show you uh, this uh, blue line that appeared. Let me just check. Just here or this little below there, I will attach this part, like any part from the bottom of my trouser to this part. Okay, so let's create the uh, line with the basic uh, tape measure. So I will create from, I think, here to here, double click it. Okay, oops, double click. Okay, now I will take attach to measure tool, select this and this this edge to this edge and I will simulate it you can also press spacebar and it will move on the top this is I'm doing for temporary use so later once we will create waistband we don't need it anymore so again basic tape double click it here then I will take oops then I will take the attach to measure click on this edge this measuring line, this edge, and this measuring line. Simulate again. And that's all. Okay, so this is temporary uh, what we have done. Now in the next class, we will create the waistband. And also we will create a band just over the ankle. So from the ankle, it will be a little tighter. Okay, so guys, if you uh, like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet, so please do it and hit the bell icon. To support my channel, please watch my videos online and do not download them. Otherwise, I won't get any benefit out of it, which will demotivate me to make further videos. So please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful. So take care, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute. If you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also. 